Okay, welcome back. Yep, this it's... is at UK Manga Reviews again, and we're back to Doki Doki Literature Club. Yeah, it's Will Boy and Astro Karibo. Yep. Now we're writing a poem. This is going to be funny. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Right, it's all you now. It's time to write a poem. Pick mm. words you think favourite club members something, something, something. So. Hmm. Okay. So, you've already been given lots of information about what all the characters are like. Yeah. So, think about... Think about that. Hmm. We use the word dream, because we've all got kind of Try it. dreams. Try it. Uh... Oh, oh dear. Do you see what it does? I do. Yeah, so that's it's basically affinity. That's that one. Yeah. <gasps> I see. Haven't sent. Heaven, so if you look, if you look top, before you do anything else, look at the top right, right? It's 3 out of 20. 3 out of 20. Right, so. Parfait. There we go. Anxiety, that's it. Together, tears, love, peace, spinning loud. Loud. Oh, no. That's her. Um, disoriented. Oh, uh, really? I'm just using it at disaster. No. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> um, explode. No. Fuck off. That's her. Yeah, you need to go for cutesy things. Why is she cutesy? Nibble. Nibble? Yeah. Anime. Choosing that one. There you go. Right. Pain, contamination, fantasy, because that fantasy did go. Where's the other fourth one? Um. I don't know. Blanket? Try it. There you go. We're not using childhood because we know who that is. Yeah, that's quite obvious, yeah. Pout. There you go. We do a lot of hands. There's literally a name, a word there that you could just use straight up. Bunny. It's literally yeah. Okay. It was cute as well. Yeah. <laughs> Death. <laughs> I wonder who that will be. Probably her. Cause she means horror, doesn't she? Mm -hmm. Um. Alone. No, that's the other girl. Mm. Sunny. Oh. Um, melancholy, that's the... Yeah. Twirl, display, sing, pleasure, puppy. Just try what you think. You've got five more. Hmm. Boop. <laughs> um. That name, Festa. What Spuggo! Nope. Fuck. Um. Milk. <laughs> yeah. Milk. Yeah, she likes milk. Uh, <laughs> is there a reason for to like milk? Well, remember she she used she made cupcakes. She made milk. Mm. Bubbles. Secretive. Uh, um. If you're trying to get, if you're trying to go for Natsuki, you should think about it a little bit more. Ribbon. Okay. Yes. Hi again, Kazuma. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. I wish I fucking did. <laughs> nah, don't worry. This might be a little bit strange for me. Sorry but for munching sound. We've got biscuits here. <laughs> yep. But at least I keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Kazuma. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of equipment to you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Yeah, well, that was a good choice. Oh, come on. Like he deserves any slack. Sorry told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year, too. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps a manga collection in the club room. <laughs> Natsuki finds herself st stuck between, say, Monica and manga. Manga is, a lit is literature. It is? Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops her head back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. Kazuma always gives it his best as long as he's having fun. 
He helps me with busy work without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. Sorry, that's because your room is so messy. It's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. Is that so? You two are really good friends, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I might be a little jealous. How come? You and Kazuma can become two fr good friends too. Um, sorry. Hmm? As usual, Sayori seems to be oblivious of weird si the weird situation she just put me into. <laughs> oh, oh, Yuri, even brought you something today, you know? Wait, Sayori, eh, me? Um, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? Never mind. Sorry, made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Uh, what do I do? Eh, I'm sorry, Yuri, I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue this situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. You'll make me happen, happy no matter what. Is that so? Yeah, I won't make it a big deal if you don't want it to be. Alright, well here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you want it. Um. <laughs> yeah. This is how this girl... Is this like when she just like pulls out so cute. like Shawshank Redemption and says, "Read that." Yeah. <laughs> she even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some schedule scheduled activities for the club, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Sarah and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in the book. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around the, in the closet. Ugh, I hear Natsuki utter an exasperating sigh from within the closet. <laughs> nice. She seems to be annoyed by something. I approach her in case she needs a hand. Well, yep, yeah, you got the root. Woohoo! You looking for something in there? Freaking Monica. She never puts my stuff back in the right spot. I can't talk, really. No. <laughs> What's the point in keeping your collection organised if someone else is just going to mess it up? Natsuki slides a bunch of stack books and boxes across I, the shelf. I, I feel so much for her because every time my other friends come round to my house, they get to that manga collection there and they mess it up mm -hmm. and they put it in the wrong order. Put three, the, the third one like first and like... Oh, no, no, the other one. You see them ones there? Yeah. Them ones, they swapped them round, so instead of going 1, 2, 3, 4, it went 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. It took me a month to notice, and it absolutely destroyed me. A month? Because I didn't look at it for a while. Fair enough. <laughs> okay. Manga. You read manga, right? Uh, sometimes. Manga is something, some, one of those things where you can't admit you're really into it until you figure out where the other person stands. How do you know, anyway? I heard you bring it up at some point. Besides, it's written on your face. What's that supposed to mean? I see. <laughs> There's a, l a lone volume of manga amidst a stack of various bo books on the side of one of the shelves. Curious to put it out of the stack. There it is. Natsuki snatches it out of my hand. She then turns to a box of manga and sets the volume right into the middle of the rest. Ah, much better. Seeing a box set with one book missing is probably the most irritating sight in the world. Isn't it? Yep. That's literally you. It is. Have you seen that? It's all in that. It's, it's actually, if, if you were here, guys, you'd see that the manga collection that I have behind me it's not just in number order, it's also in alphabetical order. There are pictures on the Facebook page, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, but it needs updating because I've mm. got more. <laughs> yep. I know that feel. I get a closer look at the box, at the box she's admiring. Parfait, girls. It's a series I've never heard of in my life. That probably means it's either at, way out of my demographic or it's simply terrible. If you're going to judge, you can go through it. Go do through it. What? Do you it can, do, you can go door. do it through the glass on the, that door. She points to the classroom door. Hey, I wasn't judging you or anything. I didn't even say anything. It was the tone of your voice. But I'll tell you one thing, Kazuma. Consider this a lesson straight from the literature club. Don't judge a book by its cover. In fact... Ironic. Yep. Yeah. Natsuki <laughs> pulls out the first volume of Parfait Girls from the box. I'm going to show you exactly why. She shoves a book right into my hands. Ah. I stare at the cover. It features four girls in colourful attire striking animated feminine poses. It's exceedingly moe. Ooh. What's that, like 80% 80, 80 of your manga? No, it's not! <clears throat> yeah. Don't stand, just stand there. Oh, uh, that's it, grabs my arm and pulls me out of the closet. What? She then takes a seat against the wall beneath the windowsills. She then pats on the ground next to her, signalling me to sit there. Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable or take my seat? Chairs wouldn't work. We can't read at the same time like that. Yeah, why is that? 
And I guess it's easier to get close together like this. Ooh. Uh, don't just say that. You'll make me feel weird about it. Natsuki crosses her arms and scooches an inch away from me. Sorry. I didn't exactly expect to be sitting this close to her either. Jesus Christ. She's so tiny. Mm-hmm. Just so you know, guys, sometimes there's been times where I've literally thrown manga at Astra and I'm going to yeah. read this! Yeah. <laughs> Not like I can say it's completely a bad thing. I open the book. It's only a few seconds before Natsuki once again inches closer, reclaiming the additional space while she hopes I won't notice. I can feel her peering over my shoulder, much more eager to begin reading than I am. Wow, how long has it been since I read the beginning? Hmm. You don't go back and flick through the older volumes every now and then? Not really. Maybe because sometimes after I've read something... Maybe sometimes after I've already finished the series, yeah, that... that I know, in the last video, you had to go at me for English. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, are you paying attention? Uh, I am, but nothing's really happened yet, so I can talk at the same time. It looks like a... A, 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 a bunch of friends in high you school. You go for it. You have to be Typical a long slice time. of life affair. I kind of go out of these since it's a rare... It, <laughs> crap. <laughs> since it's rare for the writing to be entertaining enough to make up for the lack of plot. So, plot. Yeah. <laughs> what yeah, should I expect plot. from this? Is there going to be plot? Depends. Not in this fucking <laughs> BN, mate. <laughs> well, obviously. You think I would enjoy something that didn't have a plot? I mean, well, I guess I know what you're saying. A lot of the beginning is about simple things. Like, there's a really funny chapter and I'm obsessed with a guy at an ice cream shop. But that's just that just helps you get to know the characters. And besides, it's still entertaining. But later on, there's all kinds of drama. Like, when they get in all to... Into all the backstories stories. and when some of the romance starts to happen. Oh. That's really what makes it so good. Fucking parfait girls. There are so many touching parts. Oh, I bet there are so many touching parts. All them cupcakes, all them parfaits. And milk. <laughs> ah, is that so? It sounds like you really know what you're talking about. Maybe I underestimated you. <laughs> hey, wait. What's that supposed to mean? Uh, Natsuki gives me a little shove. I just mean that I haven't yet seen you at your full power. Hmm. Good save. Mate, fucking power level. Power level. It's over 9,000. <laughs> ah, this chapter seems like it's about baking. This is just a guess. But is there a lot of baking in this manga? Well, Natsuki pauses for a moment. As if she doesn't want to admit something. Yeah. <laughs> Why does that matter? It doesn't. I was just curious. Since you enjoy bacon too, right? That's just a coincidence. Yeah, clearly. Mm. I just happened to get into bacon around the same time I got into this manga. Yeah. Right. Like, I would ever get into anything because it's in a manga. Becoming a fucking... Oh, I want to be a samurai now I've read this fucking manga. I want to be an assassin. I've seen so many fucking cringy <laughs> pictures on the internet where people are like, Hey, look, I'm fucking Naruto. Or hey, like, hey, can we... I want to go work part time at McDonald's and try and take over the world. That's <laughs> Satan working as. I know. It's not even called McDonald's. It's called. Can we get? Can we drive a tank? No. <laughs> I feel bad for anyone that's impressionable. Ah ha ha! Definitely not a coincidence. I guess that explains Natsuki's interest in baking. Still, of all the hobbies to pick up from a manga, that's definitely one of the better ones. Hmm. Not to mention she's really good at it. But who am I to judge? Here we go. Oh hello. That's quite cute. We read on for a few more minutes. I finished a couple of chapters at this point. Are you sure this isn't boring for you? It's not! Even though you're just watching me read, well, I'm fine with that. If you say so. I guess it's fun sharing something you like with someone else. I always get excited when I convince any of my friends to pick up a series I enjoy. You know what I mean? Yep. I've done that to you, haven't I? Yep. <laughs> Vice versa. Yep. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You don't. Um, that's not. Oh God, these well, fucking lines of dialogue. I wouldn't really know. What do you mean? Don't you share your manga with your friends? What friends? Could you not rub it in? Oh, she's got no friends. Jeez. Ah, uh, sorry. Hmm. Like I could ever get friends to read this. It's called fucking parfait girls. Seriously. They just think manga is for kids. <laughs> Manga is not for children, people. Let me put it so, out. Uh, there. Some of it is, some of it isn't. I think manga is for everyone in different contexts. Yeah, there's different genres. Like it's like books, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, you're not going to get fucking a six year old to sit down and read Stephen King's The Stand or It or fucking shit, shit like that. No, you're not. No, you're not. You're not. 
I can't even bring it up without being uh, without without them being all like, eh? You still haven't grown out of that yet. Makes me want to punch them in the face. Ugh, I know those kind of people. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find friends who don't judge, much less friends who are also into it. I am already kind of a loser, so I guess I gravitated towards the other learners over time. Losers. Losers, sorry. But it's probably harder for someone like you. Hmm. What? Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Wait, which part? I mean, I feel like I can't even keep it in my own room. <laughs> what? Can't you keep? <laughs> Do Jinchi. Hey. <laughs> Off eight girls. Best of Jinchi. I don't even know what my dad would do if he found this. Yeah. At least it's safe here in the club room. Except Monica was kind of a jerk about it. God, abbreviations much. Ugh, I just can't win, can I? Well, it's paid off in the end, didn't it? I mean, here I am, reading it. Well, it's not like that solves any of my problems. Maybe. But at least you're enjoying yourself, right? Um... Um, Awkward so... Silences. <laughs> Just laugh at her. Jeez, that's enough. Are you going to keep like reading it or, or what? Yeah, yeah. I flip the page. Is that it? I, I flip the page. Yeah. Suddenly Natsuki starts laughing. <laughs> I totally forgot that happens. Natsuki puts a finger on one of the panels. Minori is my favourite character. You always feel a little bad for her since she's so unlucky. But it gets especially bad when um, I should be shouldn't be talking about that yet. Don't give me spoilers. Just finish this chapter. Natsuki's voice sparkles with excitement. It's a stark contrast to her usual bossy tone. But if she's not used to sharing her favourite manga with her friends, I can understand why. I've actually not seen that yet. What? I've not done that part yet. What this route? No, I've not done a route. No, I tried to at one point, but I've not seen that. How many routes have you done on this? Quite a few. <laughs> Okay, well, let's see what happens. Yeah. It's hard to express in words the feelings you get when connecting with someone like that. And being able to provide that to Natsuki for whom it's a rare experience, the thought makes me smile a little bit to myself. Okay, everyone. Right. Eh? You want to go? Yeah, sure. Are you all ready to... <laughs> Are you all ready with today's poems? Oh, here we go. Oh, come on. Could your time would be anywhere. Sorry. I just need to make sure we have enough this time. Though you do look pretty cosy over there. Ah, eh, ah. Natsuki suddenly noticed how close she's gotten to me. She hastily slides herself a good 12 inches away from me. <laughs> I, I'm, do you know what I'm glad about? This guy has got a fucking ruler or like a measuring tape with him. Like, He's like, oh, she's moved away. It's time to get out the fucking measuring tape. Oh, an inch! Right. I need, I need to think about that. Or, oh, 12 inches. That's oddly specific. Could be an innuendo. Maybe. <laughs> Alright. Guess I'll stop here for now. I'll close the book and hand it towards Natsuki. You're just giving it back? Don't you want to know what happens? Yeah, but Monica just said, Don't be dumb. Just take it home with you. Eh? Is that really alright? I say that mostly because I didn't really plan on using my spare time to read this. Well, of course. It would take forever to finish it if we didn't take it home. Just finish that one before tomorrow so we can start the next one. And if it gets bent, I'll kill you. By tomorrow. I only got part way through the volume so far. I might fall behind on some shows if I get if I try to get through this. It doesn't take that long to read a fucking manga. Do I that one of I them, they could do it an hour. Follow. I could sit down with a manga and read it in probably less than twenty minutes. Ah, oh, depends what you read it best, isn't it? Yeah. But I suppose that's a necessary sacrifice in exchange for seeing that Suki's enthusiastic face. Or am I more scared of what will happen if I don't finish it? Alright then. I stand up, I return to where I put my stuff and carefully slip the book into my bag. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Yep. My re me bleh. my realization <laughs> ends. Yeah. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't find much ins inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, not everyone's ready. Why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait. Sayori so and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sayori's so is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting for where I, where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Oh god, what a poem. Right, you've got a fucking choice. Oh, well right, we've who, been Whose poem do you want to read first? Or... Sure. Well... Who should show. I show my poem to first? Well, we've, we've talked to Natsuki and we kind of like her. Go on then. So should we show her first? Because yeah, she on. was... We've been talking to her and that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, go on then. 
I told Natsuki I was interested in her poems yesterday. It's probably only fair I shared mine with her first. Uh, okay, well, let's start with the things I don't like. Okay, bitch. First of all, um, Natsuki rereads my poem. Never mind, I don't feel like giving you my opinion. Maybe that's because she likes it. Yeah. Eh? Then what's the point of sharing it in the first place? I wrote this when I could have been doing other things. Wow. Um, Why is he such a faggot? Because he's a dick. In fact, remember how I said I wanted to read your poems? That's what I had in mind when writing this. That is such a pickup line. I want to help you feel comfortable enough to share yours. Like Monica said. Um, sharing is caring. <laughs> well, I wouldn't be more comfortable sharing my poems if yours was really bad. You weren't supposed to show them show me some dumb poem and make me go ha well it's not like that it's not that great but let me show you something what real literature looks like what yeah. if with the pro bloody punctuation right, that I'm going. <laughs> and you went and ruined it i hope you're happy so in other words you're saying you liked it uh natsuki retort natsuki's retort gets in the way of her throat uh you're so you just you you don't understand anything do you i already told you that you don't have to go and announcing it to the world like you're all self-important Pretty sure you'd never actually said that. I say that mostly to myself. Natsuki really, must really hate me or something. I can't figure out whether it's a win or, lo or loss that she'd like my poem. In any case, you still need to show me yours, right? Go fine, I guess. Only because Monica will make me if I don't. Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. Horses can rig. Owls can seek. Cheetahs can run. Eagles can fly. People can try. That's about it. That's a great poem. Let it's me show you. Let, let me a show good you. Rhyming. Let me show you what great literature looks like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff, so people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make the message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like when it's easy to read, but when it hits you hard. Like in this poem, seeing everyone around you doing great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other thing, other nice thing about simply writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then it made for, then made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess I went in more into it than I realised. That's what it makes means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. I decided to humour her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Right, next decision. Who's next? Ooh, um, should we do hers, Yuri? Because she was the depressing one. Yeah. <laughs> right. Hmm. Yuri stares at the poem. A minute passes, more than enough time for her to finish reading. Um. Oh! Sorry, I forgot to start speaking, really. Um, yeah. It's fine, don't force yourself. I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Uh, yeah. Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be after reading through it. Ah, so it's that bad. No. Did I just raise my voice? Um, I'm so sorry. Yuri buries her face in her hands. I couldn't help but notice that it's been several minutes and we haven't gotten anywhere. It might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine, I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right, um, it's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognised in new writers is that they're trying to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick up a writing style separate from the topic matter and they form fit the two together. Is she's she like, shit-talking you. She's given me so much fucking, like, theoretical crap. It's she's like, just get to the point, she's love. Do you like it or not? She's shit-talking your poem. And the end result is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Once she finds a train of thought, it's as if her demeanour totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. She should go on like a countdown or something, shouldn't she? Mm. 
It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. Just being a bitch. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you viable feedback. Natsuki can be a little bit biased, though. Biased? How? Um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if you're either apologizing to help to me or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily as if there's a rare opportunity for her, which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't it supposed to be a literature club? Oh god. Ghost under the light, the tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow, bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining street light to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe. Calms breathing air of the present, but living in the past. The light flickers, I flick them back. Wonderful. There's no rhyme in it. So, poems don't have to have rhyme in them. No, but I was like, what was the rest? Fair enough. I used to read more Dr. Zeus. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm sorry I have such terrible handwriting. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you a long time to read. Uh, well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Eh? That's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I used to write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little so more mild. Something easy to suggest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? Uh-huh. Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Kazuma. Really. I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you don't have to answer over it, after all. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell simple stories or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost, lingering in her last remaining place of comfort and able to let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn, putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. It's nothing, really. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on one of these things, too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. She, right, writes, longer, she writes longer poems. It's not like she's going to suddenly just sit down and write the whole of Beowulf, is it? <laughs> have you seen that poem? No, I've not actually. Beowulf, it's like a huge poem. It's like several hundred verses long. I see, like do you know what? I've, it's really bad. I've only seen the fucking film and that was crap. Oh, the poem's great. It's, it's actually a poem. It's not an actual story or book or anything. Oh, right. It's not a poem. Hmm. Like, I think like the 1700s or 1800s. Mm. We'll, we'll research it. Anyway, okay. got him. Right. <laughs> Who do you want to go for next? Oh, we'll read Sayaris. Right. Hmm. This is a good poem, Kazuma. Are you sure it's your first time? Of course. It's not that good. Am I the kind of guy who'd be writing poems in his spare time? Yeah, I guess you're right. But that's why it's impressed me. Well, to be honest, I was afraid that you wouldn't do it seriously. Or well, you wouldn't write one at all. I'm really happy that you just wrote one. It reminds me of how you deep really a part of this club now, not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room. Uh, well, of course, I'm not really into it that yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise, see? It's like I said before, Kazuma, deep down you're not selfish at all, you know. Try new, try new things like this for other people. That's something that only really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. Then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much this means to her and all, yeah. And I'm going to make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That'll be my way of thanking you. Alright, I'm going to hold you to that then. Yay. Now you've been my poem too, alright? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. Okay. We'll see you about that. Dear sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning. <laughs> it makes me feel like you miss me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed. Rubbing, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Oh, shit. Whoa, Nelly. Well, we didn't read that one. Let's just, let's just say it's just it's quite cutesy. Cutesy. Yeah. Can we not go back? Nope. Nope. I tried history. Whatever. It, it, Aww. Right. There's there's not much about it. It, it is just a cutesy poem. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Continue okay. anyway. Say Sorry. Um, this is just a guess, but did you wait until this morning to write this? Oh yeah. At the end, it says uh, something about being hungry and like wanting breakfast. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Did you want? Did you wait until this morning to write this? No. Just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. 
Well, at least that makes me feel a bit better about myself. Don't be mean. I still tried my best. Oh, yeah. I didn't mean to say that it was a bad poem. It came out nice. Or sh how should I put it? It sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially that last line. I made eggs and toast. <laughs> Even though you were late to school. It's bad to skip breakfast. I get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. This was so much fun. Monica's the best. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but next time I won't forget. And I'm going to write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I'll look forward to it. Right, brilliant. Last one. There you go. Right. Monica. Hi, Kazuma. Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good. Glad to hear it. By the way, since you are new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like no activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just with the floor until I'm more settled in. Anyway, won't share your poem with me. I'm glad that it's... she's so fucking straight to the point. Yeah. Sorry, keep going. Kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. Ha ha ha. Don't worry, Kazuma. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know. But it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Hmm. I like it, Kazuma. Really? It's a lot cuter than I expected. Ah, uh, ha ha ha. Oh, jeez. No, no. It kind of makes me think of something Natsuki would write. Ah, uh, she's a good writer too. So, take that as a compliment. Ah, ha ha ha. If you say so. Yep. By any chance, have you read anything by Shel Silverstein? I haven't heard yeah, it, have you? No. Eh? Maybe a long time ago. He's famous for telling all kinds of stories in just a few simple words. His poems can be funny, endearing, or even sad. And sometimes they're only a few lines long. They might even feel like they're written for kids, but if you think about them, they can express views of the world that would apply to anybody. I see. So you're saying that Natsuki is kind of like that? Sort of. Maybe she's not an expert, but you probably won't find much filler in her poems. They might be easy to write, but they're supercharged to get the meaning through. So I can see why it would be your kind of poem to explore. I'm sure I'll end up trying trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little bit biased towards their own kind of styles. But I, I'm, I'll always help you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. Ha ha ha. Anyway, do you want to read my poem yeah, now? Yeah, let's get on with it. Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims them are not very good. Well, that's because I'll have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know. I see. Well, let's read it then. Right. Hole in the wall. It couldn't have been me. See the direction the sparkle protrudes. A noisy neighbour, an angry boyfriend. I never knew it wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel... Yeah, I reel, I reel blind. blind like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas. Already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching forever and everything, a hole of infinite choices. I realised, wow, that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he on the other side was looking in. That's quite deep. Mm -hmm. That's quite deep. Yeah. Yeah. I understand that one. Yeah. Do you? Yeah. What What do you think then? It's like being trapped in the hall mm -hmm. and looking out at the world and people who don't see much and people looking in. Yeah, welcome to your Kemag Reviews. We now do poetry. <laughs> I, I like the way you explain that. Okay. I like the way you explain that. Okay. So, what do you think? Mm, it's very freeform. It's if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Ah uh -huh, it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the time in between words and, words and lines. When performed that loud, loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Uh, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about Steve Leap stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. 
If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you just get a big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hands and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Right, that's it for today. Phew. I guess that's everyone. A glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting into myself. Across the room, Sayori and Monica are ha happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper showing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. My meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language, eh? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem up to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I know that. It's, I just meant the language, I guess. I was just trying to say something nice, eh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't have to come out nice at all. Um, well, I do have a couple of suggestions. Hmm. If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it, which people did, by the way. Sari liked it, and Kazuma did too. So based on that, I'll gl gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me, I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change any time soon, unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring. Fucking hell! Yeah, she's a bitch. She's a right? bitch! Which I haven't yet. Mmm. And Kazuma liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Shit. Oh. I didn't realise you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Eh? That's not what I... Uh, you, you just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Ka Kazuma appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Are they having a cat fight? Uh, huh? <laughs> and how did you know he appreciated my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I know. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Uh, um, is everything okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one who, whose boobs magically grew a bigger size as soon as Kazuma started showing up. <laughs> Natsuki! Um, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you. I don't like fighting, guys. Suddenly, both girls turned towards me as if they just noticed I was standing there. Kazuma. She's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point in making your poems all convoluted for no reason? The meaning should just jump out of the re reader, not force them to, have to figure it out. Help me explain that to her, Kazuma. Wait. There's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings in the mo and meaning most way. Avoiding them is not only unnecessarily limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You do understand that right, Kazuma. Um, well, how did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing, but whoever I agree with probably think more highly of me. So of course that's going to be... <laughs> <coughs> uh, well, we're quite simply minded, so we'll have to agree with Natsuki, won't we? Oh, okay. Um... Yuri, you're really talented. Um, well, but Natsuki has a point. I think that... I wrap my brain in an attempt to back myself up. I think that conveying feelings with a few words can be just as impressive as well. It lets the reader's imagination take over. And Natsuki's poem did a really good jo job of that. Yeah. It did, didn't it? Ah. Shows how much you know. That's not... Natsuki, I think that's enough. Huh? Me? But she was mean to me. Natsuki's voice whines. Look. What we talked about yesterday was right. Writing is a really personal thing, and sharing it can be definitely be hard. It looks like we've learned that today. Even small criticism can lead to something pretty heated. I glance over my shoulder. Sayori is nodding vigorously. Go for it. Yeah, so, you don't need to feel threatened. You're a great writer, Natsuki. Ah, uh, Natsuki's voice gets caught in surprise. Thanks for noticing. She finally mutters that barely audible. Yuri, hmm? Yuri looks at me dejectively. With a face like that, I can't help but feel bad for her as well. I'm sure that Natsuki didn't mean anything she said. So, you don't need to feel threatened either. Well, if you say so. Hey, it's not like you need to apologise for me, Kazuma. Sheesh. Natsuki takes a breath. I... The thing about... Um, Natsuki glances around the room. Would everyone stop staring at me? 
Wouldn't surprising if Natsuki has a harder time than it, with it than she boasted. So you're here, Monica, look away. Um, anyway, the thing about your boobs, I didn't mean it, okay? <laughs> That's all. Natsuki looks away, avoiding eye contact with anyone. Yeah, you're naturally beautiful, Yuri. So Yuri, um, I'll go make some tea. Eh? I was just trying to help. I'm sure she appreciated it, Yuri. I pat Yuri on the shoulder. Well now, that we're past that, everyone re read each other's poems, right? I hope that were, that it was worthwhile for everyone, especially you, Kazuma. And to be honest, it's a nice change of pace from the lazing around we got a little too used to. <laughs> so, ah, so my joining the club was responsible for ruining the atmosphere. No, not at all, not at all. There's still time before we go home. So we'll all relax for a bit. Of course, besides chatting, we do look to related things in the club room. So maybe we can take the chance to pick up a book or do some writing. After all, that's what the club is for. I disagree, Monica. Eh? About what? That's not the most important thing about the literature club. The most important thing is having fun! Ah ha ha, of course. Well, I guess that's why you're the vice president, Siori. <laughs> In the end, though, Monica's right. Being in a literature club probably means I can't spend all my time doing nothing. But in the end, I guess it's been worth it so far. Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How did you all feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was alright, well, mostly. Kazuma, how about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe you'll learn something from your friends too. So your poems will turn out even better. I think to myself, I did learn a little more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. With any luck, the, mean, the means I can at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. I nod to myself with a newfound determination. Kazuma, ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. <laughs> Sayori beams at me. I tr it truly has been a while since Sayori and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Sayori, about what happened earlier. Uh, what do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki. Does that kind of thing happen often? No, no, no. That's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. I promise they're both wonderful people. You don't you don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see why they'd make good friends with you. Phew. You know, Kazuma, it's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club. But I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you too. That's... <laughs> Every day is going to be so much fun. Sigh. It looks like Sayori still hasn't caught onto the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but does it really need to stop there? No. <laughs> well, we'll just have to see what the future holds, Sayori. I pat Sayori on the shoulder. I said that more to myself to her. More to my I said that more to myself than to her, but it's easy to use Sayori as an internal monologue sometimes. Mm. Okay, yeah, let's do this. Right, and that's when you finish the video, because it's been like 40-odd minutes. Yep, and right. we'll be back in the next video. Okay, see you soon. See you soon.